What's up, everyone? Vincent Janito here with the man, the myth, the legend, John Harden from Atlas. How you doing, man? How's it going, Vince? It's it, I'm, I'm doing really well because I'm about to beat the crap out of people in Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse. Nice, man. So so this is, for people who are not in the know, this is out in Japan already. Uh, this is kind of a, a side story running concurrent. Well, you know what? Why, why am I telling people this? Let's let you <laughs> tell people this. What is Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse? How does it relate to Shin Megami Tensei 4? Uh, Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse is a continuation. Um, so it's a full game. It's not a DLC. It's uh -huh. not an expansion pack or anything. Cool. Totally different story told from the perspective of Nanashi, which is literally no name. Or li sorry, <laughs> literally means no name, because uh, he's a no name hunter, and something bad may happen to him in a little bit that we're trying to get to. Um, but it overlaps about the last little bit of SMT4. So Flynn is this big hero in Tokyo. He comes down from the Eastern Kingdom of, of Mikado, and he's like saving everyone as Merkaba and Lucifer are fighting. Spoilers. Spoilers. Sorry. It's okay. It's um, hope hopefully anybody watching this is already played SMT4. Yeah, exactly. You don't need to. You you can start this one fresh and you'll just kind of miss out on a few references, but you, it's a it's a full game. You beat me to it. I was going to ask you about that uh, how how much would you say is going to go over people's heads if they haven't played SMT4? A little bit like you like Navar shows up in ghost form and you you're not going to figure like who is this annoying like super er uh, aristocratic sounding jerk hole. <laughs> um What's All right, up, Flynn? Oh no. Yes. Oh boy. Do it. Fighting Mervs. What? Did his head just get bitten off? This is, this some is a super weird dream. This is some weirdness. What's um, going on? Alright, so while while shenanigans are happening on our screen, so let me ask you, so you said before it's a full game, you've said it a couple times. So when you say full game, do you mean like, you know, it's like thirty hours? Doesn't do like, I I think like you know, like S and T four, probably forty to sixty for the main line. If okay. you start doing all the side quests, it's gonna be well over sixty at that point. So you guys you guys brought the beef. This we is, did. This is it's a it's a big localization product uh, project. It's got full English voice going for it. Uh, it is a 3DS title, as you can see. Yes, but indeed. it's 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 very mature rated, uh, very, as you can see by that demon that just bit off Flynn's head. And, yeah, uh, yeah, we'll that didn't seem. Uh, I don't think I want. I don't think I want little my, my little niece, niece or nephew playing playing this game. But that's but that's great. That's not what it's supposed to be for. Um, which kind of brings us to. An important thing that I wanted to ask you about. Yes. You know, so the game is already available in Japan. It's being localized it for is. Western audiences. So how, you know, I guess we've this has been a topic that's come up a few times. So how how much, how hard of a localization is this really going to be? Do you see a lot of things changing? Will there be uh, things taken out? Like what's uh, what's going to be the status of, of, of the content uh, once it gets kind of localized for the Western audience? Um, everything's staying the same. You know, there's plenty of blood and gore. You know, there's that scene that everyone keeps bugging me about on Twitter and forums and everything. It's all the same. It's all in there. Um, it's, you know, whatever our localizers decided to do, but we didn't cut anything. Uh, we didn't change anything at anyone else's request. It's totally fine. Cool. All left in there. Hey. Awesome. So... Um, I saw he's dead. Let's get into the gameplay a little bit. Like I know we're we're uh, we're approaching we're approaching the moment, but I, I do want to just ask, like in a broad sense, how similar is it gameplay wise to Shin Megami Tensei 4? Is it uh, the same general bag, or is it kind of something different? Like if 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 that if SMT4 and SMT games in general scratch a certain itch for me, like is Apocalypse going to scratch that same itch? Oh yeah, big time. Uh, the combat system is going to look exactly the same. Um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna try and go out on our first little recon mission with nice. Nakari and Manabu, who are your friends that you meet at the very beginning, and they're gonna be your lifelong friends, and they're gonna you know they're gonna be with you till the very end. Of course, which spoilers is in like four minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, I know everyone's to hear the English, but I'm skipping through because we yeah. got we got demons to kill. Yeah, and but the Eng the the voice act the English voices uh, as per normal really for. Uh, a lot of Atlas games, uh, it's pretty, pretty strong so far from what I've heard. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna get some food, and it's gonna be super easy because we've. Okay. Yeah, everything's gonna be fine. It's I'm totally, sure, totally gonna be fine. I'm sure nothing bad will happen to these people ever. Because nothing bad oh, ever happens to characters I in Shin Megami Tensei games. So if you can see on the bottom screen, oh, oh crap. We just healed. Oh boy, what are you doing? I'm breaking stuff. Stop breaking stuff, John. Talk. 
So um, it's good to know that it's going to scratch kind of the same itch, but at the same time, you know, like you don't want it to be too samey. Yeah, what kind of new things are... You don't want it to be stale. So we've, right. we've changed it up a bit in terms of the combat. So there's new systems with, press tur with how press turn works, uh, specifically the smirking system. Um, you are... G like, smirk in SMT4 was just its increased chance to hit, increased chance to evade. Right. Uh, in this game, it's those, and it's also got some. It, it, it unlocks special skills on spells, like uh, the light and dark instant kill spells from 4, uh, Hama and Mudo. Uh -huh. Those are now damage effects. So they'll do damage, which is awesome, because mm -hmm. before, if you missed, it's like, oh, well, I just wasted a turn. Boo. All right, Nikari, how many times do I need to keep talking to you? I just want to go. Let me Seriously, fight I know stuff. we're like best buds, but I kind of just want to ignore everything you have to say and go kill things. But like any good RPG, there's plenty of expedition to begin. Oh, yeah. Well, that's always the way it is at the start of pretty much all RPGs. Um, but yeah, so there's that change. One uh, other thing is you're always going to have a partner with you, so you can find partner. Like, if you remember in 4, like if you're on a main quest, like Isabeau or Jonathan would be with you or Walter. Um, hey, we can get up here now. Yay! Woohoo! Let's go. This will be this will be all right. Nothing bad should happen here. We doing it? We're doing it. Yes. We're gonna we're gonna go out and have fun. Uh, yep, sure are. Da da da. We're gonna kill us some demons. Yep. What's up, guys? No, we're not worried. We're all good. Da 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 da. da. We're gonna fight. I'm really glad to hear that uh, Hama and Mudo um, have functions besides the standard. Uh, instant kill because like my problem with those in all the SMT games has always been that um, you know it's just like an all or nothing and if you if you get the all then you just win and if you get the nothing then well you know yeah so you can see again it looks very similar if you played SMT4 oh no owie stupid food <laughs> I think I have to kill like three of these things and then our fun little event will happen. Uh, spoilers, we're about to die. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe John! I'm sorry, I'm, I'm the worst with spoilers. Uh, John! I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight. Oh, there, so we just didn't even explain what I was just talking about. <laughs> but I skipped How over convenient. it. Yeah, I skipped over it because I just talked about it. So I'm just gonna kill this thing until it dies. It's going to oink at me <laughs> and headbutt me, and then it's going to be murdered. I'm going to get some XP. Hey, uh, yeah. I got, I wanna, before you move forward. Yes. Um, think that's enough for now? Do you think... Uh, I don't know what you want to show exactly. Yeah, don't do anything more. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, no. Are we there? Uh, almost. Don't do anything. Okay. Don't move. Okay. Do you think... How much do we have after we get to this point? Very little. I don't think it's much. I think we go here and it's like, hey, what's up? And then we die and it's a cutscene and then you get resurrected with all your demon powers. Gotcha. Okay. So, editor, what we'll do is um, after like that second, you know, after that second bit of combat, we'll just dissolve cut maybe to yeah. to, to here. Um, so, and I'll say like, I'll, I'll play us back in. Cool. You ready? Yep. All right. All right. So we've been killing some stuff. Killing we've stuff. Killing some things. We're, we're, we're a super powerful hunter badass, yeah. I think. And if you look on the bottom screen, you can you can see us like moving around and like, woo, check it out. Woo! Uh, you, so you can like look and there's like a little flag where your quest is hanging out, which oh, is nice. really cool. That's convenient. And we're going to go here and uh-oh. And, and happy things are going to happen. Hey, it's our friends, our lifelong friends, Nakari and yeah. Manabu. They'll be with us to the end. To the nah, very, very no end. No big deal. Nah, that was free. Uh oh, it's easy. Uh oh, oh, that's uh, a lot oh, of stuff. Oh, oh, dude. Oh, that's a that's a peacock with a horse's head. Oh no, we're surrounded. Beep, we're surrounded. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, why are there so many? So this this dude is this is actually uh <laughs> this is a Christian demon. I I oh. looked this up on Wikipedia before I sent out a press blast on this. Uh, apparently, among other things, he's also in charge of Satan's wardrobe. Ah! 
Okay, well, I mean, at least at least Satan's gonna be well dressed. I mean, look at this, look at this, look at this guy. He is yeah, objectively fabulous. Yeah, no, there's no, like, there's no arguing whether or not this person's sense of fashion is on point because it's on point. Yeah, that's that's a lot of demons. That's a. I don't think I could pull off the whole green feathered eyeball uh, donkey demon thing, but this guy rocks it. He does. I'm uh, I respect that. So this uh this this may not end super well for us. Yeah, we're gonna do our best. Maybe maybe it'll be fine. Maybe we'll be all maybe right. Maybe everything will turn out just fine. Oops. Ooh. About that. Bye bye, lifelong friend. Yeah. <laughs> Manabu <laughs> dies. <laughs> all right, Manabu. Does everyone die? No, certainly the heroes will pull out in the end. Now Nakari, he's got his awesome s knife. Yeah. Oh, it just broke. Ooh. Oh. Uh, uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. How? Why are your friend? Your friends are supposed to be immortal. They're supposed to be with you to the end. Well, maybe this is the end. But, but it's the but, beginning. But it is. Oh no. Oh no. Da, da, da. You're skipping all the graphic descriptions of what he's doing to your friend. Yeah. He is murdering him. Horribly. Horribly. <laughs> And you just died. Ain't that a B? Well, this game's a lot shorter than you said it was going to be, John. I, I'm sorry. I, I must have lied about. <gasps> Something's happening. This isn't happening. So here's where we meet, basically the the puppet master. That's kind of that's kind of horrific. <laughs> and kind of awesome. As, as you can see, this game is totally. Very, very graphic. No, that's I'm, I'm. That's what SMT games just. They all have kind of an edge to them, so and that's why we love them. We're kind of in the dark place. That's not a good. So but, where, uh, where are we now? Um, I don't, I don't. I'll give you three guesses, Vince, and the first two don't count. Um, are we in heaven? It certainly looks like my idea of heaven. <laughs> Rocks with lost, wandering souls connected by worn out. Oh, railway oh, tracks. oh, oh! We're at the DMV. <laughs> Where did he right? Where did he be? All right, well played, <laughs> well played. Can you hear? Ooh, hear a voice. Oh, oh God, I should not have skipped that. That's Dogda. Dogda. Uh, that's some person. But we're gonna we're gonna do this little resurrection bit. Oh, spoilers! He gets resurrected. <laughs> Wait, I told you, the game's I, not over. I, I told you, I'm really bad with spoilers. <laughs> if you don't want your favorite game spoiled. Spoiled. Just unfollow me on Twitter. <laughs> what I love about this is that it reminds me of uh, of SMT Nocturne, where like the game just begins with the end of the world. Basic, yeah. And I, Basically, I, I I love that. This game begins with the end of you. Yep. And then you get some cool demon powers, and that's that's like a. Can you hear me? That's a. Those are like Tokyo Subway turnstiles. That's pretty cool. Da da da. I can hear you. What's up? Dun dun dun. Someone with some sense showed up. I am Doctor. I think I think that's a pretty cool place to end. Yeah, I think that, that's I, a, that's a look, that's I, a pretty poignant thing right there. Yeah, yeah. Dogda seems supreme. He seems like a profound but being. Yeah, he's this he's this Celtic god. I think Celtic, and or maybe he's Norse. Uh, Norse probably sounds more right. He's this Norse god, and he's uh he's gonna he's gonna bring you back to life. Which I guess is pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's pretty red. I'm down, with, I'm down with that. It comes out at a cost. And we're going to find out what that costs when uh, Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse comes out this summer. This summer? This awesome. summer. Cool. Well, John, thank you so much for Absolutely, walking me through dude. the opening of, uh, of Shin Megami Tensei 4 Apocalypse. Uh, like you said, coming this summer to the 3DS. And, uh, and thanks, everyone, for watching and listening. And for more on all things Shin Megami Tensei, keep it right here on IGN.